Welcome to Quantum Akashic Soul. I am your guide, Elasa Tina Marie, and we are going to start to venture into lucid dreaming, quantum lucid dreaming research and practices. We have currently the Quantum Lucid Dreaming Journal out for those of you who are ready to dive into a practice and really study lucid dreaming through practice for 40 days and 40 nights. So I wanted to make this audio today, this podcast, for those of you who really get excited to awaken to the dream in the night and the day and, you know, come home to the living soul, eternal God self that you are and such practices of lucid dreaming. So we have to remember that we are already awake eternally and when we go into time lag when we start to think more than feel and be in the now and be in the presence of love we create time and we create a shadow a lag of duality to experience a play to experience a groove outside of the heart down the pathways of the left of the past or the or the right to the future to the front, down a fractal line, a timeline, to the back, to review. And when we get back into the heart, we have the opportunity to awaken back to the now and say, am I dreaming? No, I'm awake. And so that can happen, you know, three different ways. It can happen when you're in the dream at night and you command or intend to be lucid in the dream so that you wake up in the dream and you start to direct what you will do with that that spirit astral presence so that when you rise in the day you can play down that fractal line that you created by directing the dream and awakening in it in the night as well as stay wide awake throughout the day and continue to experience that which you created but also brand new things every now moment so number one like I said you could awaken in the dream at night number two is you could be lucid be in theta slow down brain waves as you're resting or when when you get up uh, in the night let's say to use the restroom or something you could lie there in that slowed down brain wave of theta epsilon and allow yourself to imagine as if to be in the assumption of visualizing yourself doing different things that you want to experience and know that you literally are creating a blueprint that will be actualized in a now moment and is happening as you visualize it for all is happening right now as well as you could take some slow down deep breaths before you fall asleep and start to do the visualization practice which I'll I'll lead us in a meditation towards uh, the completion of what I wanted to share so again number two is you could awaken in the night and not necessarily get up but be lucid be awake that you are indeed able to go ahead and do that lucid dreaming while you're lying there And number three is to be awake in the daydream when you are in your day. Realize that if you're in time, if you're following a schedule, you can awaken out of that schedule and say, I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to follow my heart right now. I'm going to take deep breaths and look around and see that, wait a minute, I'm actually awake. And when I forgot that I was awake in the presence in love, I was actually dreaming in the day so those are the three ways to awaken out of the dream and we're gonna be doing some like I said research together of utilizing the dream journal the quantum lucid dream journal practice 40 days 40 nights together for those who who are drawn to that experience you could get the book or the journal at the amazon.com you would just type in elasa tina tiernan at the top 
and it'll pull up the list of books and journals that have been published and you'll find that lucid dreaming one you'll soon find the actual book that'll be coming out as well as the audibles but to start to gather the what we'll be writing about is going to come through the research that's going on right now and if you're finding this in a parallel now where this is you know already completion of the research then like I said look for those materials so we want to go over some tips before we do a guided meditation around lucid dreaming and intending to lucid dream as the I am God eternal self that you are and we invite you you know to do more research to do more practices that you're intuitively guided to do to facilitate lucid dreaming for you are super brilliant and you're just you know that that quantum most high version of self that knows all from all timelines is waiting for you to knock on that door and receive the genius remembrance where you have stored in light packets jewels for yourself to retrieve so lucid dreaming number one is you can intend that in the day when you go to have a, a drink of water every time you have a drink of water that you remind yourself you know am I dreaming and remind yourself I am wide awake now you can look at your hands in the day when you go to have that drink of water and remind yourself that you are wide awake and just notice how you can clearly see your hands so that in the night that can be a cue to wake yourself up that by doing that so many times in the day when you have a drink of water of looking at your hands and reminding yourself that you're awake you will use that as a cue to remind yourself to wake up in the dream because sometimes your hands and even I suggest looking at your feet in the dream um, or even in a mirror and if any of that looks fuzzy you know you can remind yourself that you are indeed now waking up in that dream and become lucid you can remind yourself throughout the day to get really big in your quantum ether that Akash that ether self that spirit the Holy Spirit of the plane of existence the bigger quantum version of you that is also in space you can imagine right now that you're that you know your avatar that you're sitting in is is just you know a small version of the big spirit that you are and so as you get in that big space realizing that beautiful canvas of space whether your eyes are open or closed is you God eternal I am that I am and so you can remind yourself that I am that I am I am all that I see in front of thee throughout the day you can take deep breaths slow long breaths and bring your hands to your heart connecting with the present moment what's around you and connecting with your imagination as you get ready for bed we suggest that you journal what you want to create what you want to dream awake what you want to you know awaken out of the dream too there is you know infinite but we'll just say nine billion possible versions of you and you can align to the frequency of the version of you that is most healthy most wealthy most genius and with that intention and speaking it in the presence in the present I am a genius and I'm aligning to that version of quantum genius self now and I will dream lucid wide awake so journaling and letting those statements of I am and I will dream lucid now blank you know whatever it is you're gonna intend as you lay in bed at any time of the night reconnect seeing your bigger being just as you do in the day and realizing that you are huge and feeling in your visions and your imagination as if and assuming as if these things are already happening because they are as you realize that your heart door is the access way to that greater self that I am that I am by 
being in love and being able to have the heart door open and all energy centers balanced and open at a level to experience the receiving and giving, you are able to access when you do rest these other versions of reality and pull them in when you get back vertical. So it's like when you lay back horizontal and open the heart door, putting your hands on your heart, doing some open mouth breathing is a good suggestion and visualizing what you just journaled about. You are really, excuse me, lining yourself up to that frequency, to that space, to that parallel reality where this is occurring and you through osmosis are programming those cell membranes to feel, be, know that frequency so that the antenna of the DNA can actually line up to that when you get vertical the next rising. So we are here to experience amazing realities and knowing that this holographic projector of the penile and the holographic generator of the heart moves a wave through the plane of ether of spirit that you are you are projecting a light show for yourself all the time and whether you come into realization of this or not if you don't you may experience the other holographic projections going on that are uh, you know mass mind and very big as well as be influenced by other holographic beings surrounding you and they may have limiting point of views or belief systems as well as you may share those belief systems and have not let go of them so you're living these other versions of reality that typically are very low frequency and dense until you decide to rise up and rise out into the knowing of what you truly are and what you're capable of, which is everything. So as you step into these practices of realizing the holographic generator projector technology that the human body is working as, you literally plug back in the spirit, the soul that you are, source energy into that avatar, into the technology and can now be the director, be the movement of light that's coming through and cascading onto the green screen, creating that which you know to be true. So by practicing these lucid dreaming techniques, meditation, journaling, etc., you're really getting the reprogramming to happen and new imprints, new frequencies, um, new intentions, new programming really into the DNA, into the cell membrane so that it knows what to go ahead and subconsciously be producing back to you from the great huge subconscious mind that truly is working with every cell of your being. All of these cells in the body, nine trillion cells are the subconscious mind and when they get an opportunity to be uploaded new programming and you become in, come into the presence of knowing that you are the light coming through that projector, you will then begin to experience a whole new world, a whole new way of being, and you will literally influence that which you see in front of you to be brand new. So there is, you know, I talk about a lot, there's some There's a bias of you knowing what is true for you may not be true for everybody else. And so that's something you're going to have to facilitate of staying strong and true and being a witness when you find yourself in places and spaces that have the other having a different point of view. Okay. So before we jump into this guided meditation, again, we remind you about the Akashic Soul Pro app. This is not to hang on to the details. If you are seeking, you know, some clearing to do before you do practices like this, some understanding to really understand, understand, overstand where something may want to be reprogrammed, you can use the app and let go of the details so that you can use the app 
more purposefully an activation of the new now, that which you're ready to move forward. So go ahead and take a deep breath. In through your heart and out through your heart. And go ahead now and begin to breathe continued focus on the heart, but breathe through the mouth. Bring your hands to heart. And while you slowly open mouth, breathe. Each inhale, imagine that heart is really getting expanded so that the energy center lines itself up into the high heart. Opening the high heart into the ascended realms, the higher possibilities. And as you get relaxed, make sure you're comfortable in a reclined position and just keep deepening the breath. Bringing your awareness now to the whole spine. Now that the heart is open, allow your whole spine on the inhale to soften and relax as you inhale all the way down to your root and exhale up to the top of the head. Continue your breath through your mouth and at any time it feels ready to shift through the nose, just let it happen. As you take deep breaths, allow your eyes to be soft and closed and let go of the place you are right now. Let go of the location, let go of the house, let go of the bed, the room. And allow yourself to come into non-location. And as this occurs, remind yourself that you will dream lucid You will be wide awake in all nows and all parallel nows so that you can direct each now through presence, through love, through joy. Allow yourself now to bring yourself to the most beautiful location in your imagination. Let the details arrive to your senses. Notice what is the air like? What does it smell like? As you open your senses into this most ascended realm of your highest quantum genius wealthy, healthy self, where does this quantum self bring you with your sight? What does the terrain look like, the ground, the sky? As you look across the distance, what do you see? Look down at your hands and your body as this quantum, genius, wealthy, healthy self shows you the beauty, the perfection of the light body. Look around who's there with you. Is
Is there anything that as you look to those with you, they are wanting to share with you? Look around and see if you're carrying a purse or have any belongings with you. Look through the belongings you have as the most ascended quantum genius wealthy healthy self wants to show you. Then, your beautiful quantum soul guide is walking up to you to bring you a gift. Receive this gift. Take it in. Notice the fine details. And then place that gift either into your purse, your belongings, or just by your side so you carry this with you. Give thanks to your quantum soul guide. Smile and keep looking around at the distance, the details. Go over this practice again and again, feeling as if, assuming this is happening now and that you are coming into full embodiment of your quantum genius, most wealthy and healthy self. Remind yourself you're wide awake in all nows and as you fall asleep you're lining up to this now journal your details when you rise keep going take in every detail breathe and allow